Hello everyone, this is Ivan from Tree Studio. I'm a wedding photographer from Melbourne. Today we are going to introduce the tradition and ritual about Indian weddings. Now let's not wasting time, let's move on. Before the grand wedding day, there is a series of intimate, joyous events that set the stage. These pre-wedding rituals are as much a part of the celebration as the main event. Engagement ceremony. This is where it all begins. Families gather, blessings are exchanged, and the couple officially commits to each other to their upcoming unions. Rings are exchanged, symbolizing the promise of the future together. How the ceremony? Picture this. The bride and the groom, each at their uh, respective homes, smeared with a yellow paste made of turmeric, sandalwood, and other natural ingredients. It's not just for fun, though they are also a bonus. The, this ritual is believed to purify and beautify the couple, preparing them for their big day. Plus, there's an age-old belief that this paste would ward off the evils. Monday ceremony, now is the favorite. The bride along with the woman in the family get intrinsic henna designs drawn on their hands and feet. These designs, often detailed and complex, symbolize love, joy, and prosperity. It's a lively event filled with music, dance, and laughter. As everyone eagerly watched the darkened henna, said to signify the strength of the couple's love. Sangi ceremony. Think of this as the ultimate pre-wedding party. Family from both sides come together for an evening of sound, dance, and merriment. It's a chance to let loose celebrate the couple's love story and build excitement for the wedding day. From rehearsed dance performers to singing seasons, the Sangit is all about journey, joy, and bonding. Each of the rituals, which deeply rooted in traditions, is a reflection of love, anticipate, and joy surrounding the couple's journey to the married bliss. Now we move on to the wedding day, the big celebration of all the festivities. The wedding day is the symphony of ritual, emotion, and the celebrations. Ballard Sangit. The day kicks off with the groom's grand arrival known as the ballad. Picture a procession of dancing relatives, booming music, and the groom traditionally on a horse making his way to the wedding venue. The bride family await eagerly at the entrance, ready to welcome the groom and his family with worms and fine fear. Parent ceremony. As the groom steps forward, the bride's mother performs the parchment. She greets him with an arty, a ceremonial welcome with a lit lamp, signify the removal of darkness and the arrival of light in their lives. The groom then head to the wedding mandal, a beautifully decoration altar. Soon after, the bride dropped in a uh, traditional outfit, often a dress making her grand entrance. The atmosphere is electric, filled with anticipation. The couple exchange the vows in the ceremony, symbolizing their mutual acceptance. Before the main ritual begin, a prayer is offered to the Lord, the remover of the obstacles. This ensures the presiding goes smoothly and the couple receives divine blessing. An emotional moment for many, the bride's parents offer their daughter's hands to the groom. It's a symbolic gesture. Entrust him with their most pre precious gift. The couple wash their feet in the water, purify them for their new journey. The couple is then tied together. Quite literally, a note is made with groom's scarf and the bride's sneer. Assembling their internal bond. This ritual performed by the priest signified their union as they vow to support each other. The heart of the ceremony 
is the couple circle the scarred fire seven times. Each round signify a wolf, a promise from beginning support to the praying for the prosperity. This was like the fundamental of their married life. An extension of the fear. The couple taking seven steps together, each step representing a distance ball from loyalty to companionship. It's a beautiful representation of the journey they are embarking on, step by step, step by step. The groom applied uh, a kiss to the bride's forehead and adore her with a necklace, symbolizing their union. These acts are not just a ritual, they are the heartfelt moments, marking the bride's new start as a married woman. As the ritual concludes, the couple gets at a pole star, a symbol of stability. It's a silent prayer, hoping their love remains constant and unwavering. The newlywed then seek blazing from the elders. It is a touching moment, filled with tears, laughter, and countless emotions. The elders show them with flowers, gifts, and words of wisdom. Ensure their embark on their journey are all with love and support they need. The wedding day with its Maya ritual is a testament to the sanctity and beauty of the institution of marriage in the known culture. Each ritual step to the culture, to the uh, tradition, making the day not just a celebration of two individuals, but a union of two souls, two families, and two destinies. Now it's the post-wedding tradition. The culmination of the wedding festivity doesn't mark the end. It's just the beginning of the series of the beautiful post-wedding costumes. After the scare ceremony, it's time for some fun and fasting. Guests gather around the relish and spread of the traditional Indian delicious celebrating the union they are just witnessed. One of the most significant moments is that when the bride bid farewell to her family with a tear eye and heavy heart, she threw back a half handful of rice, thanks her home for love and memories, and stepped into her new life. Typically, the reception held a day after the wedding. The reception is a grand affair. It's less than a ritual and more than a party. It becomes greeting guests, share laughter, and dance the whole night. It's a celebration of their love story shared with friends and family. The bride's first step into her new home are marked with the uh, grand festival. The groom's family welcome her, hoping her bring the prosperity and happiness with her. This post-wedding ritual filled with emotions signifies the beginning of the couple's journey in their shared life, emphasize love, respect, and togetherness. At the heart of every Indian wedding lie on a campus of rich cultural traditions each of them profoundly significant. Indian weddings are not just ceremony, they are deeply rooted ceremony celebrations of heritage, value, and community. They represent the age-old tradition, beliefs, and custom that have been passed down through the generations. Each ritual from the pre-wedding huddle to the post-wedding weddle, they become a story a blessing. It's not just a union of two individuals, but an alliance of two families, two communities, sometimes even two cultures. The emphasis on the ritual like the uh, Kayan and the Gansin underscore the value of the sacrifice, commitments, and uh, con continually. Furthermore, the color, the dance, the music, and the atmosphere with joy, it becomes the Indian's culture. Now, all the symbolics 
of the beauty and depth of uh, Indian art and expressions. But beyond the festivities, these weddings are a, just a relief of Indians' iso, a duty, prosperity, desire, and celebrations. They remind the couples of their duties to each other, their families, to, and also the societies. Indian weddings are beautiful rituals, emotions, and celebrations. They are not just events. They are experience, memories that last a lifetime. Melbourne with its diverse venue and vibrant culture provides the perfect canvas for these grand celebrations. From the traditional rituals to the modern parties, from the intimate gathering to the grand festival, every moment becomes a cherished memory. As a photographer capturing those moments at Tree Studio, I have been witnessing the magic, the love, and the journey, the joy that fell in the air. Here is the celebrating loves, traditions, and the beautiful journey to the togetherness. Cheers to the beautiful couples and their stories. Thank you for watching. This is Ivan from Tree Studio. For next episode, I will lead you to the top 10 dress shop for Indian wedding in Melbourne.